Welcome to San Francisco's G News, where you get all your gay in just one day. We bring you the top LGBTQ plus stories from the left coast and around the globe. Keep in the know on the latest trends, hot topics, and who's messing with your human rights now. We post new videos every Saturday on YouTube and Facebook. So join me, Celsa Dulé, and my guest co-host every week and get all your gay in just one day. From the city by the bay with San Francisco's G News. This week on G News. It's, it's the Folsom episode. episode. The dating app that's taking the hate out of the hookup. Kink versus fetish. Do you know the difference? Find out your drag name with the help of hanky codes and safe words. Plus, legs up and our crush of the week. And all your gay in just one day. Right here on G News. Hi everyone, welcome back to another episode of G News. We're so happy to have Sam back, especially since he's clad in his Folsom wear. Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> you can check out Sam and his own YouTube show, The Groovy Bartender, and also The Laureate Bar in San Francisco. Welcome, Sam. Thank you for having me again, especially for this episode. It's my favorite street fair the whole year. It's one of my favorites, oh. too. I, I Well, it's, it's the largest. We're going to get to all of the details about it. I'm so excited. We're so glad that you're here. Thank you so much for watching. If you're watching on YouTube, please, especially for the first time, please subscribe. We're still trying to get to 1,000 subscriptions. We're almost there. We're so close. <laughs> Wait for thin. Plus, if you subscribe, you'll never miss an episode. If you're watching on Facebook, well, then please like and share that glitter. Nothing against the bottoms, but this segment is all about the tops. On September 30th, San Francisco will host the granddaddy of leather events, the Folsom Street Fair. This year will mark 35 years of whip smacking fun. That's right. Come join the over 250,000 fetish enthusiasts as they sniff and slap their way through 13 city blocks of fun in the sun or fog. Just bring your sunscreen and an open mind. Finding that special someone in a crowd that size can be challenging. But don't worry. Technology is on your side. Gay dating app Chappie has new owners, a new look, and a new zero tolerance policy. So no more statements like no femmes, no fatties, no Asians. <laughs> Chappie says, blatant prejudice masked as preference is something we take seriously. Chappie is engineered to empower gay men to form positive, healthy relationships based on kindness and mutual respect. So get out there and have fun and be good to one another. Celso and I are taking you to fetish school. Some people have confusion around what is fetish and what is kink. They even think sometimes that it's the same thing. But it's not. Kink is unconventional sexual interest, like bondage or spanking. And fetish is fetish around objects, clothing, body parts that people sexualize. Now fetish objects aren't innately sexual, say a dildo. They become sexualized when people respond to them sexually, like jackstraps. <laughs> there are a lot of fetishes out there. We found a fab article on HuffPost that tried to narrow it down to their top 46 fetishes. Now, there's a lot more than 46, but thank you, HuffPost. So from that 46, I know, right? Thank you, Huff. From that 46, here's a couple of our faves. Okay, not that I necessarily want to do this, but I kind of live for this. It's called autoplushophilia. Oh, yeah. Right? <laughs> it's when you dress up as giant teddy bears or, you know, panda bears or bunnies or whatever it is. And then, you know, and then as Missy Elliott would put it, you would get your freak on. Get your freak yeah. on. <laughs> get your freak on. Get your freak on. I, I don't know. I, I have, I go back and forth with the, with the furries on that. I, I kind of like it. And then I think with the... Furry smell bad? I don't know. Yeah, it's a little <laughs> funny, but hey, that's another, that's another uh, fetish right there. This you one know. is one of my, I don't know if it's my, it's my favorite, but it's interesting to me. It's climacophilia, and it's an arousal of people falling downstairs, which <laughs> Sam and I both have this kind of affliction that we see people falling downstairs, we break into laughter. So I think it's really interesting <laughs> that somebody has another reaction where they get hot by that. Because I just go, oh my god, look, someone just fell downstairs. And I just okay. can't stop laughing. <laughs> <laughs> but on an actual fetish that I really do kind of enjoy myself is called catap cataptronophilia. Oh, yeah. That's when you have sex in front of a mirror. Hot. 
I know it sounds a little vain, but it's very like it's hot. American Psycho. <laughs> like you know, when you're doing your thing, I I just I don't know. Yeah. I, that's a that's a good one. Unless, that is a good fetish, right there. For me, no, <laughs> unless it's on a ceiling, for me, because I have this constant fear that it's just gonna fall. Or <laughs> <laughs> so I don't. Maybe that's like. Is that secure? Because that looks like it's gonna fall. My other one that I like, uh, well, actually not like, but um, oh, this one can't wrap my brain around. Formicopophilia, arousal of insects. Insects. To quote Thorgy Thor. Ew, Jesus, gross. <laughs> no, I can't. I can't with that. Insects. I, okay. Mm -mm. No judgments. Mm. No judgments. I mean, no Just... judgment, but for me, no. <laughs> yeah, insects. Um, my favorite fetish, however. I, this is, yeah, okay. This is my w number one all time favorite fetish. It's called pygophilia. In layman term, that ass, though. <laughs> that is the fetish of the ass. Pygophilia. All about the buttocks. And that's yes. probably my number one fetish, I would say. <laughs> so I like that. I'm about it. I'm all about it. So I, I left this last one for, I think it's interesting. It's silismophilia. Sorry, all you Latin and doctors out there. Uh, <laughs> Latin speakers and doctors out there. Um, it's it's the arousal of, stut of, of stuttering. But... The reason that I found this interesting is because I get kind of, I think it's adorable. I don't know about turned up, but I think it's adorable when people have a lisp. So I really like that one because stuttering and lisps are kind of kind of similar. But yeah, yeah it's, I mean, I, but it's weird that well, not weird. I can't say weird, but it's interesting to me that somebody would get turned on by a stutter. Hey, different strokes for different, different folks. folks. Yeah, you know that's what I'm saying. Oh, no. So, but that ass though, right? The ass. <laughs> you, have a, you have a nice ass and a lisp, and you fall down some stairs, give us a call. <laughs> I can <you> imagine. <laughs> I just imagine going. <laughs> on the ass. Okay. Anyway, okay, I can't. We absolutely love all of these, and I, I, I love it. I love that we have all these fetishes. Well, okay, so if you live in San Francisco, yes. specifically. Oh, that's right. You might have this fetish, okay? It's called... Nebulophilia. Ooh. Guess it. It's an arousal of fog. Now that you've sorted out your fetishes, there is a way to let people know your fetish without even having to say a word. Hanky codes. <laughs> <laughs> we have featured hanky codes extensively here before on G News. But basically, a certain color hanky worn on the left side or the right side indicates a myriad of things. For example, if you're a daddy who likes to get his armpit sucked, which daddy doesn't, honestly, <laughs> then you're going to want to wear a hunter green and magenta hanky in your left pocket. Oh, codes are nice, but sometimes you have to use your words. So let's say that you're hogtied to a bedpost and you want to stop so you can take a sip of champagne. Then you have to use a safe word. According to the kink app Whippler, Colors and fruits are super popular, and for some reason, the state of Oklahoma makes the grade. I think it's really funny that Oklahoma <laughs> is the only state that's included as a favorite state. Oh, <laughs> you wanna know why, I think? I, it's because once you hit Oklahoma, uh, you might as well stop it. The fun's done. <laughs> oh, poor Oklahoma. No Tino shade, Oklahoma. <laughs> well, what happens when you mix hanky codes with safe words. Hmm? Well, you get the hanky code safe word drag queen name game. Of course. <laughs> so we have this game that we're playing. We, I have uh, created a list of, or there's a bowl of hanky codes. And, and Sam over there has a bowl of- Another bowl. Of safe words. So we're each gonna randomly pull out one from each and we're gonna make drag names. All right. Right? Ready. Come on. You're welcome to use any of the ones we find. <laughs> if you if you want. Okay. Ready? Yes. Okay. <clears throat> um, I have Kelly Green, which also means hustler for rent or John looking to buy. So, I have McGullicuddy. Okay. <laughs> so, would it be Kelly McGullicuddy? Kelly McGullicuddy. <laughs> 
<laughs> That's your drag name, <clears throat> Kelly McGillicuddy, which we know what you're up to, Kelly. <laughs> We're watching you, Kelly. I love that. Kelly I love McGillicuddy. That. I kind of love that too. I'm living. That might have to be my new drag name. Okay. Hi, um, ready? All right. Mm. Um, all right. Oh, this is stuck to me. Okay, sorry. Okay. It's a sign. <laughs> I picked Hound's Tooth, which also is, uh, which means likes to nibble or willing to be bitten. Okay, this kind of goes perfect with mine. Why of Disneyland? <laughs> <laughs> oh, can we, can I add a bunny to it? So we'd be like, um, Hound's Tooth Disneyland Nibble Bunny. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Or do you just call it, um... We, that we are drinking. Nib, ni, uh, uh, nibble Mouse. Nib, nibble, nibble, nibble land. Nibbling. <laughs> you have the information. Make better use of it. You know what I'm saying. Did. Whatever. You, so, yeah. What the f*** do you do with Disneyland? Disneyland house, hounds to... Anyway, yeah. Work with it. All right, next one. The Hound <laughs> of Disneyland. Ooh. All right, next. I just threw one in the yeah. garbage. Ooh, 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 I get it. Okay. Ooh, I get it. This one. <laughs> I, I have a teddy bear. Kaleidoscope. Which, which means... <laughs> I just had to say it right after. He's just so perfect. There's your, there's your drag name. Teddy bear kaleidoscope. Teddy bear kaleidoscope. Which means you're a cuddler or you want to be cuddled. Oh, oh. But you got to be hairy, though. But you got to be hairy, though. Okay, or other, other way, it's an otter. Otter kaleidoscope. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Ooh, 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 ooh. Mm. Oh, I lost it. Okay, here's it. Okay. okay, this is um, light blue with a white stripe. It's very important that you have that stripe because it means you're a sailor or you're looking for salty semen. All right, so this is what you are now. Salty Cracker Jack. Stop it. <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> We're like Cycle Sisters. Or, We're totally or, or Semen Cracker Jack. Salty Seaman Cracker Jack. It's like a three. It's like a middle name. Seaman's middle name. I like Salty Cracker Jack. <laughs> I like Salty Cracker Jack. That's too. a good drag name. Sorry, Ms. Cracker, but we got a Salty Cracker Jack. I love to go wig, girl. Okay, look, <laughs> let's do one more. One more. Okay, one more. One more. Okay. Oh my God, Salty Cracker Jack. <laughs> <laughs> take me out to the ball game. What? Oh, oh. sorry. Uh, okay, take me out to the shipyard. All right. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. I got 100 green, which is daddy, or, or an orphan looking for a daddy. Well, I mean, I got the daddy shirt on, oddly enough. So the word, the, the name's going to be called um, Little Orphan Cucumber. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. But instead of having, like, a red, like, perm, she has to have, like, a green perm. Or you could be Daddy Cucumbers. Ooh, Daddy Cucumbers. Daddy Cucumbers. I don't know if that's necessarily like a drag name. Miss Daddy Cucumbers. That sounds more like a kink name, Daddy Cucumber. <laughs> so we put the link down below to both the safe words, the most the 46 that HuffPost found, and um, obviously the official hanky code. So you can play this game yourself. But it's also important, if you are going to Folsom, to know your color codes. Yes. It's time for our new segment titled Legs Up. <laughs> Justin Willman is a magician who has spent his life mastering the art of magic. In his new Netflix show, Magic for Humans, Justin uses magic to master the art of being human. It's a really charming show where Justin uses magic to reveal exactly how human we really are. In the love episode, he meets Dan and Matt who are into puppy play. Aww. Everyone likes a puppy. Puppy play is when one person takes on the role of a pup or dog and another person is the handler or trainer. LGBTQ fans have been praising the series for showing same-sex kink in a positive light. I super love this show. I Well, one, he is cute. Yes. He's, he's not hard on the eyes at all. <laughs> but... This at the same time, like this magic show is completely different than like a Chris Angel smoke and mirror totally. type of show. You know, it's like it's super real. It's relatable. He's he's actually talking with real people, but the magic is good. How does he do this? Uh, it, honestly, it, in the love episode that we're talking about, yeah. he does one certain trick that I'm like, how? But uh, what? Yeah, because it's more than just the the puppy play. There's like there's a couple. Of, there's a bunch of other. 
uh, scenarios in there. But the puppy one stands out because who doesn't like puppies? Oh, you're such a good boy! <laughs> oh, is that your heart beating? No, it's our crush of the week. Uniforms are a very popular fetish. Specifically, hospital scrubs. Yes. Mm. It's called medical fetishism. Hi, doctor. Hi. <laughs> and the hit show Grey's Anatomy is known for its super steamy cast. And this new casting by former model Alex Landy has been cast to play Dr. Nico Kim. He's a sexy surgeon, y'all. Ooh. Yes. <laughs> Alex is actually, uh, in real life, he's Korean and Italian. <sighs> Which we mean... <laughs> hot. Hot and then uh, hot. Hot. <laughs> but the abs, though. Oh. You got laundry? You got laundry? Oh, my God. He wash got a washboard. on his abs. <laughs> wash them on his abs. His, we're going to wash his scrubs <laughs> on his abs. The teeth, though. Can we talk about the teeth? I want to lick his teeth. Is that bad? Is it it's bad like, that I want to lick his teeth? There's like, the, the new white should be him. Ding, ding. I thought my teeth were white until I saw his little video. He does a little video on Instagram where he's like thanking everybody. and it's, He's adorable. That mm -hmm. voice. His voice is so deep. Hi, guys. Yeah. I'm Alex Landy. I can't even. You're like, who? <laughs> I can't even do that. This is Lewis. <laughs> <laughs> so sexy. He seems really charming and down to earth and nice, and he's hot. He's great. And if you have not watched Grey's Anatomy before, this yeah. gives you a reason to watch it now. Okay, you ready? Doctor poses. Because he is tall, dark, and delicious. And he has us all wanting to play doctor. He is our crush of the week. Just look at him. Well, that's it for this episode of G News, where you get all your gay in just one day with your hosts, Celsa Dule and Sam McGuinness. Thanks so much for watching and getting all of your glitter news with us and Glitter Bomb TV. If you're watching on YouTube, please subscribe. If you're watching on Facebook, then please like and share the glitter. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week. Bye. Bye. Justin Willman is a mu- Sorry. I just said it way too out of the gate. Okay. <laughs> Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Find out your drag name with hanky codes and safe words. <laughs> I forgot what I was going to say. Okay. Safe words. One more. Kink is unconventional sexual interests, like spanking or fisting or, <laughs> sorry, or, or bondage. Sorry, bondage or it's been cool. <laughs> okay, this one's gonna be amazing. Okay. Kink is sexual <laughs> like jack straps. Hmm. And here's a lot of fetishes. And there are a lot <laughs> In episode the episode titled Love, he features Matt and Dane Dan. <laughs> me. Sorry, you did that so perfectly. Except I didn't because I said magic. For humans. <laughs> and you want, who sorry, doesn't I like, won't touch your hair. Who doesn't I, like, I will not touch your hair. Who doesn't though. like puppies? Yeah, it's supposed to be on the shoulder. Yeah, I know. I know who doesn't right. like puppies? It's there in the script. <laughs> You're like, you should not touch my <laughs> I just <laughs> the number one gay rule. Do not touch the her. <laughs> You're like him a drag queen. You sorry, be lying bloody on the floor. <laughs> sorry, not sorry. Did I say being a puppy? But that's what it's about, though. <laughs> yeah. No, that was your cue to like touch oh, me. Oh, my God. I thought you were touching me. So. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty. That's why I'm here. Hey, <laughs> I smell toast. Am I gonna have a heart attack? It's almonds. I smell toast. Almonds. Oh, almonds, it's almonds is heart attack. Okay, almonds is heart attack. Alright, okay. okay.